I'm a professor of psychology preparing supplementary materials for a course on perception and cognition. I'll be co-lecturing with a colleague from my university's music department, so I'm looking for multimedia content to reinforce learning specifically on music, perception, and cognition. I want to start by browsing available video content as opposed to executing a specific search. From the Sage Video homepage, I navigate directly to the Psychology Video Collection. And from the Psychology page, I scroll down to the Subject Browse table. I expand the table for Cognitive Psychology and browse available subtopics. I see Sensation and Perception, which is relevant to my course, so I click into this subtopic. I see several types of video on the results page, including conference presentations, full-length documentaries, and long-form definitions. This video on synesthesia catches my eye. It's likely that a long-form definition of synesthesia will also touch on the topic of music, so I want to take a closer look. I click into this video. I hover over the video player and see that the full clip is nearly 17 minutes long. Before watching the video in its entirety, I want to ensure that the content is relevant to my interest in musical synesthesia. I go to the transcript window toward the right of the screen and click the search function. I search for music. And the relevant content is highlighted in the transcript. I navigate through the transcript and see that music is mentioned quite often in this clip. I also scroll through the transcript to quickly get a sense of the context. This section at 9 minutes 43 seconds catches my eye. It appears to be a first-hand dialogue with a musical synesthete. I click the highlighted portion of the transcript to navigate directly to that portion of the video. So my first question is, what are the different types of synesthesia you experience? Um, okay, so I experience color associations with a lot of different things, um, like musical instruments, chords, but mainly numbers um, and letters. And then also I associate those things with smells, tastes, sometimes textures, um, and then things tend to form like pictures in my mind. I may want to use this portion of the longer video in my class, so I click the Create Clip button to make an excerpt and note a start time of 9 minutes and 43 seconds based on the time indication included in the transcript. I skim the transcript to get a better sense of the conversation. I notice that the dialogue is specific and useful to my course. I identify a natural endpoint at around 14 minutes and 22 seconds. I note the end time and save the excerpt to my clips. A window opens automatically with a direct link to this customized excerpt, as well as instructions for embedding the excerpt into my LMS. In this window, I can choose a frame size for the embed and retrieve the corresponding HTML code. All Sage videos are fully transcribed and captioned. Note that to create clips, you will need to set up a personal profile on the Sage Knowledge platform. The Profile button can be found at the top of any page on Sage Knowledge.